His family are celebrating his release, but one family is still left without justice. Local 10 and Margo continues our live team coverage. Ian. Yeah, let's be very clear. This is a story about a criminal justice system not only failing this man, but failing the man, the family of a man that was murdered 30 years ago. Mr. James, your conviction and sentence is hereby vacated. After more than 30 years in prison, Thomas Rayner James is a free man. It's been a long time coming, but I'm glad it's finally here. His story starts back in January of 1990. A man named Francis McKinnon was murdered and witnesses told detectives they believed a man they knew named Thomas James was involved. That Thomas James, who also lived in Miami, was in custody at the time, so he couldn't have been involved. But police included Thomas Rayner James's photo in a lineup and a witness swore he was the murderer. The state's case back in 1991 rested largely upon that positive identification. There was really no other evidence of his guilt. For three plus decades, James sat in prison, but always maintained his innocence. Then recently, that eyewitness told investigators she may have made a mistake all those years ago. And in 2021, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Justice Project began looking into his case. James's attorney, Natalie Figures, spent countless hours petitioning on his behalf. And finally, on Wednesday, the state attorney's office announced their decision. Thomas Raynard James is actually innocent of the crimes of first-degree murder, armed robbery with a firearm, armed burglary, and aggravated assault with a firearm, for the murder of Francis McKinnon. The judge quickly approved their motion to vacate his sentence and conviction, and just a few hours later, James was finally released. I'm at a loss of words. It's kind of hard to describe the feelings that I'm feeling right now. Um, best thing I can tell you is it feels wonderful. It's wonderful. So in Florida, if someone is wrongfully convicted, they are eligible to get up to $50,000 per year for every single year they spend in prison. But because James was a convicted felon before he was wrongfully convicted, he cannot get that money. However, his attorney says he, they, her and the state attorney are going to be working together to try and fight that and get him the money he deserves after 30 years lost of his life. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Newfound Freedom.